So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you what you can do with CDs. So if you're like me, um, from a particular generation, where you have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these empty, um, well, not empty, but CDs, and you've honestly, let's face it, you're never going to use them, and somehow they ended up moving with you into your new place. So I'm going to show you a way that you can upcycle them and reuse them. So first of all, I'm going to use some sticky tape. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the foil here. So you want to use this kind of brand. Very easy. Rip it up. Okay. Get rid of this. Okay, get another piece. Just to get rid of the foil first. So there we go. A bit like waxing. So it might not rip, might do that, might not. There we go. Let's start with one first. Ew. <laughs> Get rid of the full part. Okay, so I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these lying around in my house and I can't think of I tried to come up with a way to use them again now back in the day um, some people would actually I don't know if you can remember that some people back in the day they would actually hang them up you know like on the side or by a door frame kind of like 70s style it was still very shiny yeah but I'm not going to do that today just rip the foil off so I found something that I liked thought I would do this let's give it a shot Completely rips the foil. So you want to get little pieces of this and some tape. Especially this kind of tape. Mm -hmm. So before you paint on it, you want to get rid of the foil. This is one way to do it. Wow, so satisfying to watch. It's kind of weird. It's hard to believe that um, my music used to be on this. It's just a piece of foil. It's totally bizarre. Hmm. Okay. Whew. Cool. Let's get rid of more. So and I'm gonna do another piece here. Yeah that so what better way than to do this okay I still have a bit left here let's see if I can get rid of that mm -hmm. Just trying to get rid of most of the foil, so let's see if I can. Still got a bit left here. Stubborn bits. Wow, so essentially, my CD is just plastic. Wow, that's crazy.
stubborn. Still some a few stubborn bits here. I don't want to get them rid of. Reminds me of waxing. For those of you who have gone waxing, you know what I'm talking about. Especially women. Hmm. Still a couple of stubborn bits here. Okay, that's about as tiny bits. Okay, so now I'm going to spray this. I'm going to be using a kind of sanitizer. And sanitizer spray to clean that up. Just to prepare the surface for painting and also for my printing surface. So let's roll it here. Clean it nicely. Use a soft tissue. So there we go. Let's get our surface ready. Okay. I'm automatic clean here also. Okay. So I'm going to be painting the whole one. So I'm not going to be too concerned about it being see-through. Oh, essentially, <coughs> oh, just a piece of plastic. That's it. Wow. Okay, so let's get started. Um, do not use watercolor for this. You want to use either um, acrylic, which is the best option. The only problem with acrylic, it might peel off. So you might want to put like a varnish, a glossy varnish over it or spray varnish. So I'm going to experiment with this. This is my first time to do this. So let's see what the result's going to be like. I'm using cheap poster paint. Um, and I'm going to be using like a flat brush. Brush I've got here is a size four. So I've got my setup ready. So let's just see what it does. Okay. Great. Okay. So I'm going to think I'm going to use a bigger brush. I just wanted to test it. So I'm going to use a flat brush, a big size. Let's do that. So I think this is what you can do with your old CDs. This is excellent. Okay, so you want to use like acrylic. Um, it's fast drying. And I'm going to assume that it might peel. So I'm, again, I'm using posterized paint, the cheap poster paint that you would get like at a specifically, um, it's called poster color <clears throat> by a brand called Paint All. I'm not trying to endorse them, just um, it's what I have on hand for this. Okay, so my hand's going to be quite tricky. All right, so you, I forgot to mention you can put a piece of tape in there if you want to, but I'm not going to do that. So, once I'm done with this, I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to, you can either use a hair dryer or you could wait for it to dry first, up to you. So in my case, I use the hairdryer. Um, you can obviously paint quite a few and then, you know, uh, wait for them to dry. The downside of using a hairdryer gets too hot and it might crack, but let's try this. So I'm thinking I want to do a very simple design. 
this is my first time to actually try it so let's see I'm just using whatever colors I have on hand so let's see what it does Let's change it to a bigger brush. See here. Okay. Cool. We have a little look. Ah. Let's go for it. Just gonna go for something basic and see how that goes first and then from there I'll play around. Oh this actually looks quite nice. Mm. There we go, you can see my colour better. Okay, so I'm using like a purplish colour. There we go. Pinkish magenta colour. Okay, and then I'm going to go with the bottom. I'm still trying to decide what I'm painting. I'm just not thinking of anything specific in mind. So I'm just going with the flow. So let's see. I realize I need to dab it because I'm working basically kind of wet on wet. And I realize this might look like a bit of a purple <laughs> Pokemon, if you know what I mean. So I want to choose my bottom color. Okay, so I'm going to go with like hmm. <clears throat> hmm. decisions. Maybe this blue. Let's see what's going to happen if I use blue. Oh no, wait, that was not a good choice. Wait, 
this guy will I think I'm just gonna continue this through here let's go with these colors have some fun with it the paint I'm using as a first to paint is a type of like a gouache so smell it has a bit of a smell to it I'm just dabbing this I'm honestly making it up as I go just having fun with it not doing anything specific just playing around with color this is honestly my first one so there we go up with it again I think I'm quite happy with that so I'm going to let this layer dry. Okay, so once you let the layer dry with the hair dryer or, you know, on its own, um, it's going to look very flat and almost flaky, I guess. So, um, now since this is a decorative ornament, I'm going to go with like a silver paint, see if I can use that, small brush size, again having some fun, I'm just doing random patterns because I feel like it, no specifics. Um, I quite like how this one has actually turned out. Um, let's see if I can take this even further. Maybe at the bottom. some lines you don't have to use the same colors as me you can change your colors you know there we go okay so i'm gonna give it a bit of time to dry um if you're doing dots maybe you want to wait for this to dry completely or you can um <clears throat> well, if you use a, a blow dryer, it might move around a bit, so you might not want to do that. Okay, so once it's dry, you can use an oil-based um, marker, or an alcohol marker as I call it smells a bit and see how it goes with this give it some details okay so make sure that it's an oil based one or an alcohol based one 
um, do not use water based because it's going to wash off. So you can kind of do that if you want. Let's see what it does. Course you don't have to use it I'm just showing you a different way that you can do that so this is one side It's time to make this. I'm just kind of playing around with it, seeing what I can do. Hmm. Okay, and this is one side. So wait for it to dry and then do the other side. Okay, so this is the second side or the reverse side. Um, you can wait for that to dry and I'm going to do the same. I'm just going to paint my base white. I guess you don't have to, but I kind of want to give it a matte feeling. You can also use gouache, I mean not gouache, um, gesso. So I'm going to try and do this. Let's have some fun. I get the feeling that this side feels a little bit different than the other side. Maybe I missed a step. Okay, so when that's done, you can go dry it with a hairdryer. Okay, so this one is different. I noticed there's some peeling there. I'm not really happy about that. Um, okay, so you can continue with the same colors that you did on, say, this side. Okay, so this side's blue, that side's pink. Or you can change it up, up to you, do different sides. I'm going to check here. So, let's see how this goes.
Okay, my white isn't dry properly, so that's why it's mixing like this. You don't want that to happen. Um, make sure that you dry your CD much longer. Okay, so this, this side's actually turning out to be lighter than the other side. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my smaller brush. Okay, now people. I'm honestly just having fun with this. It's my first, first time to do this. It's pretty cool. Okay. Okay, this is wet on wet. So. You can, of course, use a, an earbud if you want more precise dots. But I'm not too concerned about that. I've got too thick or you can do splatter paint if you have space. So I'm just having fun with this, seeing where it takes me. Hmm. I keep getting a Pokemon here. No idea why. Absolutely zero forethought. I'm just making a mess here. I'm not even thinking about directly drawing or adding anything. I can do that if I want to, but this is just to kind of see where this is going to take me. Okay, not quite, but okay. So this is one side, I'm going to dry it. Okay, so this side is dry. Again, I'm going to take my alcohol-based marker still not drawn by one side but okay just kind of play around with it see what it does just playing around okay so obviously when this dries it has a very dull, not a very shiny, sort of very flaky, almost like it's going to peel off surface. So just based on my uh, experience, um, I would suggest that you finish it off 
with a gloss. What I mean by gloss is kind of like um, clear nail varnish once this is completely dry. Or, well, it's a clear gloss paint. If you don't want to get your paint brushes destroyed, you can actually get like um, you get two kinds of finishing sprays. One is a matte one, which is very um, dull and like it doesn't shine. The other one is called like a glossy spray, a glossy clear spray, which you can get. And it's like a clear coating of spray paint, which you can spray over this. And what it would do is it would keep it a bit longer and pre probably prevent the paint from peeling off. So this was fun. Let me go this side and this side. And you can finish it off with a piece tied up. You can use whatever fancy string you want. Um, I just found a piece of tinsel to match this. So if you want to hang it up, maybe you want to use a proper string. Um, I'm just going to do this. So this might not be terrible, but it could work. Okay. You could use fish line, cut line thread, whatever you want. I'm going to go with this. You could even use wire. So, there we go. And this is my very first attempt. So, I just grab whatever I had on hand, and that's it. Done. Ta-da!